Here's the old fuel filter I cut open. Just the filter element itself. So the end caps have came off and I'm trying to get it apart. Until it should be nice. A greenish yellowish color like it is on the inside. So it's kind of black. I've seen worse, but I'm still guessing this is probably the original 180,000 mile fuel filter. The inside looks like something black junk in it as well. Not much to it. So here is the fuel rail removed from the car. With all the old injectors still in it. With the new injectors right there, this is what they look like. Now the new injectors, well the remanufactured ones, the number on them is 02801560072. And uh, all the black ones, the old ones in the fuel rail, have the exact same number, but as you can tell, someone has replaced one of the injectors before, there's a blue one. Right here, the camera is not picking it up, but the number on it is 02801560304. So, this car probably had this problem before, so they only changed this one fuel injector, and the, this is the one that was leaking really badly. Can't really tell it's bad just by looking at it, but. To change them is pretty simple, you just pull off this metal clip, it stays off the back of like so, and then you just pop, pull the injector out, make sure the o-ring comes off, down there came off, and the injector is still stuck in the rail, so you have to pull those out, and uh, just lubricate the o-rings on the new injectors with some Vaseline or something, and just put the clip back on, and then that's all there is to it. Here's the fuel rail all put together with the new injectors in it, and I just put it on the car. Now before you put in the fuel rail completely, you set it in loosely like so, and connect all the electrical connections to the injectors. Now you can set it in completely and then bolt it in. So I put in the new fuel injectors, and um, the problem was even much worse than it was before. The car would completely barely run, had absolutely no power, and the raw fuel coming out the exhaust. And, and uh, so, what the problem was, it was one of the remanufactured injectors I got. It was defective, it was stuck open. It was uh, this one right here, the very first one on the left side. It's completely stuck open. I mean, turned the key on, it just sprays fuel everywhere. So, I took it all back apart and put one of the old ones back in for now. Until the new replacement injector comes in, but unfortunately when the, it was leaking fuel, the fuel got in the oil, so uh, the oil is contaminated, so I'm changing the oil in it now. There's the filter removed, it's still draining. I couldn't get the original Mon type filter, so I just got a can in, which we'll do for now. They're still decent filters. Nice and red. Mind you, it's not the original type fleece filter these cars have, but that's the only one I could get in 8 quarts of Mobile 1. 040. The oil finishing draining. As you can tell, it's like water just dripping out, completely contaminated with petrol, so. Let that drain out and change the filter and fill it with oil, and that'll be it. This is what the bottom one of these cars looks like if you don't haven't seen it. There's the oil pan right there, and the steering rack there. That that thing right there is one of the nitrogen accumulators for the ABC suspension. Here's the intercooler pump, and here's the air injection pump, or smoke pump.
Well, as you can tell, I got the cloud all taken back apart again. It drove really well for about 200 miles, maybe less, when I was driving about the other day, and I started having the same symptoms and misfiring, and read the codes, I got multiple misfires in the right bank, pulled out the surge tanks, and found multiple injectors stuck open. There's the fuel rail with the fuel injectors in it. So, these were manufactured as injectors. I'm going to return these and get my money back. And, uh, this who makes them. GMB remanufacturing, premium gasoline and fuel, gasoline and diesel fuel injection products. Yeah, don't get these. Total junk. So far, I have about five of them that failed. And one of them, one of those five came already defective in the box. So I got these brand new Bosch fuel injectors. They look like these are the blue ones. They're slightly upgraded injectors, but you don't need a tune to run these. So, mind you, my original injectors this car came with seven of them were the black ones, and one of them was a the blue one, so and it ran fine. So, it's gonna get all blue ones this time. Here are the new injectors put in the fuel rail. Let's just put the rest of the car back together. Here's the engine all put back together. Already ran it. Runs fine. Runs much smoother than the remanufactured injectors. So I'm going to end this video, probably this video has turned out much longer than I expected it to since I had to redo the job twice because of bad faulty fuel injectors, so thank you for watching.